Hey guys, right then. Uh, so in here I have one bro head, one standard bolt, one bro head, one standard bolt. We're going to shoot the coconut at about 10 meters away and see if we can penetrate it with just one shot. I'm hoping we don't need to use more than two arrows, but we'll see now. <laughs> So that was the bro head. Looks like it's gone straight through. Let's try the next one. I think one more arrow might do it, but if I'm honest with you, I think I'm bloody hitting my own arrows down there. Let's go take a look. Total devastation there. I wouldn't want that to be my skull, let me tell you. Oh my god, they've actually all pinned them to the piece of wood behind. Well, as you can see, here, the coconut has gone straight through, uh, the coconut, sorry, the arrows have gone straight through, stuck in the coconut, stuck in the piece of wood behind. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, if that was your skull, you would be dead. Zombie brains, huh? Zombie brains. Straight through. Every single one. I'll eat that later. So, I'll be back now and we'll, uh, shoot an airsoft paintball helmet. Nice shot! <laughs> that is a kill shot! Two eyes. Let's see if I can get one for right in the center. Close enough.
Went straight through, out the other side, and stuck in the wood here. It's stuck in there. Hey guys, back again. Right, so I've just loaded him up now. He's got seven arrows in here. I think there's two blue adders, the one raw head adder and the rest of the green cheap Amazon ones. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to see if I can shoot through a pumpkin into a water bottle, hopefully through the water bottle into the wood. But we'll see now. Seven shots. Um, I'm going to have to pack up soon because it's freezing cold here and it's also getting dark. Another half hour will be pitch black. Give me a sec. Right, I'm going to stand the bag 10 meters away. <laughs> Did you see that? Straight through the pumpkin, through the water bottle, and it hit the wood. I just hit the arrow inside the pumpkin and hit two arrows out of the end with one shot. <laughs> no. This crossbow is so accurate that I have to keep moving it around, otherwise I'm just going to keep hitting the same arrow over and over again. But so far, every single one has made it out. One of them, I think, flew off into the tree. But I've got one shot left, and I'm going to try and hit the top of the water bottle, and then we'll take a look. I think I hit it. Right, let's go take a look. So, right then, what we have here is every single one gone straight through out the other side. Every single one straight through out the other side and Look how close I was. I was like literally a millimeter away from the actual bottle lid. Not a bad shot, I don't think. Right, so let me move you a bit closer, show you. It's gone through, and the rest was stuck in there. I don't know why they have gone so low because they must have glided and gone down there's one here one's gone over into the trees one down here one over the air this crossbow is lethal you know and that thing is just deadly accurate i love it it's so much fun whatever you want to hit it hits and it hits it with force man and so far all the bolts i've used have been pretty much the same um, them brawl heads 
these things are lethal and considering this is my first one that's broke I've been shooting these same ones for a while now and they've lasted longer than all of the other ones so they are expensive but they're pretty good so I'm gonna wrap it up with the crossbow now for today because I need to strip it back down give it a good clean it's got pumpkin juice and coconut juice and mud and everything in there so wax the strings tighten them up and he'll be ready for tomorrow we're gonna try and shoot through a tv a mobile phone and a few different size thicknesses of steel tomorrow at different distances and we might even get the 68 calibers out and blow up some pumpkins with different ammo but before i go Thank you.